Hey everybody, I am Melissa Beard, Senior Executive Sales Leader from Wake Forest, North Carolina, and I'm here to talk to you guys about leadership development within your team. And this could be geared towards if you have already have some team coordinators and above. Um, you guys are sales leaders and above. So again, TCs, if you've got some TCs on your team, but this also could be something that you do um, to promote team coordinators. So I'm gonna kind of talk to you about two different things. So let's just say you already have some established leaders on your team. You may have one TC, you may have several. Um, so I'm gonna show you what my team does to promote the leadership development within our TCs and above. So I'm fortunate enough to have an upline who is my sister, Monica Kenton. She's a BPSL and I'm a red jacket. And then I have a personal recruit who's also a red jacket as well. So the three of us work very closely together so that we can plan. We do monthly meetings together um, within our big team at Starfish. That's our umbrella team under Monica Kenton. And we meet, the three of us meet, we plan things, we uh, plan mega parties for our teams. But the biggest thing that I think has shifted is how we are supporting our existing leaders. So back in the fall, we had a fall retreat for leaders. It was leadership development. So we invited everyone on our team and we met, most of our team is on the East Coast. And so we met in the middle in Annapolis, Maryland, and we had a dozen, literally 12 people that were, that came and Monica led a weekend that was all about leadership development. What do you do? What are those income producing activities? Um, Jen and I were, in, and I were there for support, but a lot of that was just building relationships with our leaders. And that was the most fun and probably the most important thing. So if you're a sales leader or above and you have yet to have a retreat, host one in 2023, even if it's just for a day, like a day retreat, even if there's just like two or three people that come, just do a get together to start building those relationships. That's really important as a leader to do with your current leader so that you can empower them to come to you and you're seen as a just a friend um, that you guys can do life together like Debbie says. So that was really impactful for our team of leaders. And then another thing that Monica, Jen and I did, we sat down together and we said to ourselves, what are the tasks that we do to look at our team, to look at our TRM each week? So we collaborated and this took hours. So what you're getting ready to see, it's only like four or five canvas slides, but you guys, it took a lot of work. Um, but it has really helped us to streamline the most important task for our leaders to do as they lead their team. And that's what we want them to do. We want to empower them to lead their team. Um, we are, of course, here as the senior leaders, but we want to make sure that they feel like they can coach and lead their teams as well. So we created four slides and those are weekly tasks. So week one, two, three, four, these are the activities that team coordinators are recommended to do. And then sales leaders and above are recommended to do as well. So I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see this. And then I'll tell you how we did the training and where we put this. So let's get into it here. Okay, so my screen is over here. I'm using dual screen, so I'm gonna look over here. So this was for team coordinators, sales leaders, and our executive sales leaders. These are leadership tasks. So super simple tasks each week to help you stay connected with your team. So here are the week one tasks. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we came up with, for team coordinators, these are the things that would be the most impactful as a team coordinator to do with your team. Beginning of the month reflection time. So remember, this is week one. Look at your team's sub A sales from last month and send voice clips to those to recognize those with great sales. Um, so you can voice clip your highest seller um, all the way down. You can choose your top three, your top five, your top 10. You can send a voice clip to every person on your team, depending on your team size, of the people who were engaged that month. Whatever you want it to say, just a 30 second voice clip. So that's what we recommend the first week of every month that our team coordinators and above do. If you're a sales leader, we say do the ab above task plus reaching out to your inactive and dormant downlines and let them know their status for this month. Offer your support to them. So again, sales leaders need to do the TC task and looking at their TRM to figuring out, okay, who's about to be dormant or who's dormant this month, who's about to be inactive, just starting to kind of get that overview of the current month and reaching out early in the month to let them know how can I help you? Do you need help with your consultant ID number? Um, making sure that you are reaching out to them and then it's up to them, right, to either take you up on it or not to do anything. And that's okay too. But sales leaders and above, that's what we recommend for the week one. 
All right, moving on to week two tasks. So again, this is the second week of every single month. This is what we recommend for team coordinators to do. Check in on your own party calendar. Book a new party by the 30th of this month. Either Facebook Messenger, a home party, a vendor event, coffee meetup, a pop-up. So we are encouraging parties. We want our teams to party. Your personal business is the most important part of your Norwex business. It is the heartbeat of your longevity being, of being here as a Norwex consultant. So we want team coordinators and above to do a pulse check. Is your party calendar where you want it to be? If it is, great. We talk about hostess coaching. If it's not where you want it to be, you need to spend week two booking your own parties for that current month. For sales leaders and above, they do that as well as book a second party for of, of their own for this month and invite your local teammates to join in. So our team is primarily a home-based uh, team. That's what we are promoting because we we're a home party business before COVID. And we have been training since last summer to encourage people to get back into this and it's happening. Um, some people have jumped right in. Some people have still have not done it yet, but that's the party's platform that we are um, encouraging people to utilize. So we want sales leaders to book a second party and we're encouraging sales leaders and above to have the second party be their own in-home party at their house. And like we said, inviting their teammates to come and shadow them or just to collaborate, um, inviting people from vendor event contacts that they have met to come over to their house, local customers to come over and just have a relaxed time at your own house, because that shows how easy it is to have a party. And so with those in-home parties, your own personal party, um, we are encouraging them to really put a lot of their time and energy into getting bookings. So that's what we do for week two. All right, week three task. So third week of the month, this is what we have for team coordinators. Look at the consultants on your team that have sales in for this month and remind them about the consultant consistency challenge. So you guys know that that's what Norwex is now offering for, um, they get rewards if it's $2,000 or more in sales each month. So kind of looking to see who is close to that, who is halfway to 2000, who has party scheduled. So we look at them and we ask our team coordinators to reach out to those people. Hey, Melissa, I see that you already have $1,000 in sales. You're over halfway there to getting the consultant consistent rewards for the month of November, whatever it is. Um, cheer them on and help them brainstorm how to earn those freebies. Week three, sales leaders, they do that. And they reach out to their active consultants and share their favorite product this month and ask them if they've used it. Try to get the conversation going. So the point of this is for them to use project broadcasts and sending out either a selfie or just a picture of an M of picture of themselves using or holding their favorite product right now. It could be a brand new product since we get those every three months. It could just be something like a dusting mitt to clean their blinds, but just showing them, hey, this is what I'm using. Are you using this product? What do you think about it? And again, that's strategic for our active consultants because they could go into being coming and engage consultants if they purchase this item for themselves or they promote that item within their VIP group or on their personal page. So again, reaching out to those active consultants because we've reached out to dormants, we've reached out to inactive consultants. And now let's look at those active consultants to see if we can help build that relationship and encourage them to get engaged in their business and have a party. All right. Fourth and final week of every month, <clears throat> the team coordinator tasks are, we ask them to tag their entire downline in the monthly meeting event in our team page and encourage them to attend. So our team, our greater team, Team Starfish, we have monthly team meetings via Zoom the first Monday, Monday of every month. The last week of the month, we have an event that we set up that's posted in the team Facebook group. And this is what we're talking about, tagging your downline in that event and in the event is where we post the Zoom link. So that's what we ask them to do. Also, we want our team coordinators and above to attend the monthly leadership development meeting and the planning meeting that we have, which is the last Monday of every month at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I'll talk about those in just a second. For our sales leaders and above the last week of the month, we ask them to post a flop on our SpearNet award. So our SpearNet award is an award that Monica created um, because you guys know the story about Debbie Bolton, how at her first party, she sold a $2.49 SpearNet. So we want to not only recognize the achievements in our group, we also wanna recognize the people who try and failed. We wanna recognize and celebrate those flops. 
So we have a post that goes up every month at the very end of the month and people just talk about their flops for the month. And then it's an award that we give out during our team meeting on the first Monday of the month. Um, we also ask them to look at their TRM to see if anyone is close to being engaged, as well as those who are at risk for becoming dormant next month, reaching out to both groups of people. You know how you have those people who have $242 worth of sales in the, by like March 31st, and you're like, oh my gosh, they were only like a few dollars away from being engaged. We want to help make sure that our leaders are looking at that to encourage their team to talk about how important it is to be engaged, how that keeps their business strong and how it keeps our team strong. And then again, going back to those dormants one more time, about to be dormants. Okay, this is your last chance. You only have a couple of days left in the month to make sure that you don't go into dormant status. And we share that wording on our TC and above leader group page as well. So these are the tasks that we go through each month. And then I'm gonna show you um, where I put them. So let me just stop share it just so I can see to make sure that I'm sharing the right thing. I just switched tabs. So let me share the screen again. Yes. Okay, great. All right. So this is our team starfish team coordinators and above group. And this is just for TCs and above. So TCs, sales leaders, ESLs, jackets and above. And so we have these tasks up here in the featured section. So this is our called our lead her ship task. So you can pause this maybe it could be paused, we can be re, re, re watched again, and you can use this wording as well. So there is the overview, and we did a training on this before we wrote it out. We didn't just like plop it in there and expect people to use it because that's never going to happen. So we did a training before we wrote this out. And then we have week one, broke it down here. Okay, it says basically the same thing, it's just saying it twice twice and then if you scroll week two so our leaders know to go back to this every single week um we did do this the first time we rolled it out as a challenge i think it was in october that we did a challenge for them to do it every week so that they can get into the groove of it and now it's something that we just remind them to use we will tag them to use it hey don't forget um, i have a personal group chat with my personal leaders that I'll say, okay, you guys, it's week three. And I'm not so good at that all the time. So I'm actually going to set up a project broadcast campaign so that it rolls out every single week. Um, but just to show them, these are the simple tasks that you need to do in order to have a healthy organization. And we talk a lot to our team about how it doesn't really take that much time in order to be a leader. So personally, my personal story is I was a classroom teacher um, most of my Norwex career until last year. So I will be with Norwex for eight years in June. And so last year I was with Norwex for seven years up until the point that I left the classroom. So I say to people all the time, I became a red jacket leader by working one hour per day on my Norwex personal business and then one hour a day growing my team or my leadership. So or one hour a week, actually, is what I was doing. I do it one hour a day now. So if I can build a Red Jacket team by working two hours, one hour every day, one, two, three, four, five, that's five hours on my personal business, and about one hour on my team a week, six hours a week working Norwex with the blinders on, on those income-producing activities and these tasks, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. And we can lead the horse to water, right? It's up to them to drink from it. So we are constantly reminding them to do this. We are setting the example for ourselves. Anytime I'm doing something to promote or support my team, um, I talk about it in my team page and in my leader chat. Okay, you guys, like, don't forget to send out your dormant text to your personal group. These are for sales leaders and above. Um, team coordinators, you know, send your voice clips this week. Because most of our team, a lot of you guys probably too, work a full-time job. And I did up until last year, and now I'm doing full-time Norwex, part-time work, right? Um, so we want to make sure that we give them grace, but we also support them by saying, these are the things that we have in place. This is up to you to do that. So that's what we do for that. Um, a few other tasks that we do, we do have these monthly leadership trainings. They're called lead her ship. We heard that phrase, oh gosh, I can't remember which jacket leader said that to us at a leadership training, but lead her ship, get it, lead her ship. We do monthly leadership trainings on the last Monday of every month from 8 to 8.30 p.m. So it's team coordinators and above. So Monica, Jen, and I, we rotate who's leading those leadership meetings and we have a topic, 30-minute leadership training. 
And then the last 30 minutes is we collaborate together with our team coordinators and above um, how to plan for our monthly meeting that's going to happen the following Monday, the first Monday of the month. So we do that every month and we come up with topics. Um, I just went over the weekly task. I personally have group coaching calls. I look at my TRM and as a sales leader and above, always look at your TRM and sort the three month sales. I look at people who are working. I want to run with the running. And so I'll look at my three month sales. I'll sort it from highest down and I will hand pick and select people that I offer group coaching calls. It's a three month series. I do them quarterly. And it changes, the people change because their three month sales have changed. Um, so I personally invite them to a monthly call where I have different topics and they get to spend an hour with me and some other consultants, sales consultants, TCs, sales leaders and ESLs who are actively working the business. And we talk about different things. It, it changes every single, every single month. And then I'll finish a group coaching call or series and then I'll reconvene. I'll look at my three month sales again and then I'll do another series um, for the next quarter and so forth and so on. And sometimes the topics are the same time. Sometimes I ask them, what do they want coaching on? But this is, again, in a group setting so that we are able to collaborate and have conversations and talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's something else I do. And then on a um, different but similar topic, um, just something that I do to support my team, which is called Team Waterworks. I come onto my team every single Monday night, almost without fail. It's typically, gosh, I have missed maybe a handful in the last three years that I've done this. But every Monday night at 8, 8 o'clock p.m., I have something called Mondays with Melissa. It is a time where I come on live into my team page without fail for 15 minutes. I literally go on at 8 o'clock and then I stop at 8.15 and I can talk about anything that's relevant, things that are going on in the Norwex world. Um, I have, sometimes I have like a little post-it note with like a topic that I want to talk about. But the wonderful thing is I make a post at 6.30 in the morning, every single Monday morning with an inspirational quote that says, hey, you guys, Mondays with Melissa is tonight. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's a 15 minute live Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that you have about your Norwex business. Big questions, small questions, it really doesn't matter. Just brain dump your questions here in the comments, and then I'll make sure that I go over them and I'll give you my two cents um, during Mondays with Melissa tonight at 8 p.m. So some weeks I will have one to five people asking questions and I will crank them out within that 15 minute time period. And I'll just go through rapid fire explaining um, the answers to those. And then sometimes I have no one to ask a question, which is totally fine. I have the gift of gab. I'm always prepared to talk about something that I think would be valuable. What I'm doing in my business, how I'm getting bookings, how I'm hostess coaching, how I'm getting parties, um, what am I doing in my VIP group, whatever it may be. Um, and then because those lives save within my Team Waterworks page, I go back and I change the topics and have those keywords, hostess coaching, vendor events, uh, project broadcast, whatever it is. And then when I onboard new team members, I teach them how to use the search icon. And that's part of my onboarding. You can go and look at Mondays with Melissa. And if you're looking for vendor event tips, I have tons of Mondays with Melissa training on vendor events. So it's kind of like working smarter and not harder. Um, and people will go back and reference them. And they're only 15 minutes. Nobody wants to listen to anything longer than 15 minutes. Speaking of, I think my time is up. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Sorry that I couldn't be with y'all here live this morning. Um, but if you need um, further information or want to pick my brain, um, I will try to hop on to one of these in the near future. But thanks, Lynn, for asking me. And I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys have a great day.